Okay, this is where we have already uh, run uh, left off. So we left at this uh, source code. So you can revisit back the source code and then you can download this source code from the link in the YouTube that I've already provided in the YouTube description. So in order to change the title bar of your app uh, bar or toolbar, what you need to do is just to go at the top over here, just under set content view. So under set content view, you type action bar. So AB equals get support action bar. So if this doesn't uh, uh, light up as black, you can import this action bar. So after that, you use the action bar to set title. Okay, you can set title as uh, states in Malaysia. Alright, you can type it like just like that. And then when you play the or when you run the application, you can see that the app bar has been changed. So the title in the app bar has been changed to reflect uh, the title that you have set it inside the application. And then you can also change it in the sub activity. So you go over here, you see here uh, where you would um, get the value using the key degree and then the key you put it uh, and then you get the value, you save the value inside output and then you display it in the states, right? In the states uh, text view. So when you view this, okay, the state in the text uh, text view will be displayed as Melaka. So what we are going to do now is to change the title of the app to reflect um, the states that you have selected, like this one, Kelantan. So you want to change Kelantan, right? You want to change Kelantan. Okay, you want it to be displayed uh, with the name of the list um, view or item that you have already clicked. Right, like this, Kelantan, and then when you click here, Perak, it should have displayed Perak over here. So, to do that is also simple, just type action bar, and then you type here AB equals get support action bar. And then from the AB, you type your title, and then instead of uh, set title, sorry, you put your set title, and then instead of uh, typing here, the name of the title, you type here output okay where do i get the output so i get the output from here so this is the value of the key negeri that you have saved here over uh, the on item click right you said uh, you put extra here uh, for the key and then degree display, you get it from the position of the state or the degree in the uh, string array, array of string. So you retrieve it and then you save it over here and then it will be displayed over here. And then you put here a semicolon and then you click play or run and then so this is complete. So this is complete, right? Okay, it's like a magic. So when you click uh, Sabah or Sarawak, okay, it becomes Sarawak. And then when you click Terengganu, it will become Terengganu. So um, that's it for customizing the uh, subscreen of your list item. So let's see that uh, how uh, this um, application is elegant because um, you have uh, about 14 state over here but you only need uh, to use one sub activity to display the information about the state. 
So you do not need to create 14 screen. You only have to create one screen, but you uh, transfer down the information, pass along to this sub activity. So when you click Melaka, it right here Melaka. And then when you click Sabah, it will write here as Sabah. So uh, relatively easy thing to do. All right, next I'm going to show you a simple way to customize the color. So to customize the color, you have to click here. Uh, the colors XML right you see here the color here is purple all right sorry the purple but you want to change to other color so in order to change the color you have to adhere to the material design uh, guideline that has been provided by uh, Google so in order to do that you have to search for the material design guideline uh, design guideline okay color uh, from Google uh, document so you have here material color design color system so when you use purple uh, the accent should be teal so primary color and secondary color so you need to change that so primary secondary and secondary variant or primary variant so the secondary variant will act as an accent right so why you need to adhere to the material design guideline because it will help uh, the user to use your application and then to ensure that your application can appear visually pleasing uh, to the users. So it makes it easier for the users to use your application and then it will make also, uh, your job also easier to create an application that are visually appealing to the user. So here are the tools to pick the color for your application okay using material design guideline so let's say that you want to use the primary color okay okay red you want to change your color to red okay you just have to use this slider okay to red and then you can choose uh okay the color so you can use any color but uh, this one is uh, the uh, suggested okay color p and then uh, secondary color you can add so any color that you want okay you can use uh, any color that you want or you can remove the secondary color okay then you get uh, this color so you can uh, see that the color palette would change according to the primary color and the secondary color that you choose so this will make your job easier so let's say that if you choose red okay red okay red as a your primary color so this is the code that you can use in order to put in the uh, your application so you can view over here okay the color tool okay red right okay you need to use this color uh, okay for your application you can visualize it but you can also change this in the, inside the color palette so uh, for your uh, our application just now we uh, probably use this color okay but we want to change it to red so changing it to red okay become like this okay then you can look at the secondary color okay should be teal okay to, to change the color you have to refer to this website all right okay, to uh, change the color you have to refer this to the website okay the lighter one is the one that have the least number so you copy the lighter one first all right the lighter one is here so you copy all right and then you paste it and then okay the primary color over here okay primary color goes at here okay 500 okay the third one is the lightest color right the lightest color sorry the lightest color you go at the top okay the top Okay, the darkest uh, would be the ha would have the highest number, seven hundred. You have to copy the dark, right? 
this is the material design guideline so and then uh, to test it you just have to press play okay to see uh, your emulator so okay this is your application in new color scheme okay in red right in red okay this is the basic of um, what we call customization mm. right Okay, just uh, like this one, just like this preview, right? Just like this preview. Okay, you can change your color scheme, right? You can see here, okay, the preview of the color scheme like this on your application. The highlight uh, would become the accent or the alternate color. Okay, like this. Okay, this is the secondary color. Okay, let's say also if you want to change your app uh, color to something lighter like uh, lime green also can okay lime green like this or lighter color okay lime green okay it's all would be changed automatically okay or lighter like this okay also can you can double click right okay like this one Okay, lighter. Okay, some people uh, just like to program a lighter um, application, right? Lighter application. You can view the accessibility, whether it is uh, legit or not. And then you can also see the preview over here. What happens if you use the primary color over here? Okay, if you use lighter green, then complementary must be uh, around the purple, okay, around the purple um, scheme, 400, okay, the purple 400. So just go to the secondary and then select for purple 400, okay, here, 400, and then you select it, uh, the color like this, okay, purple color. Okay, 400, okay, this one 300. So, is it 300? So, no, 400, you select this 300, okay, 300, right, this is 300, and then this one, the purple color stream is 400, okay, because this is, has already been specified in the guideline, right, then you start to change it in the color scheme over here, so this is the right way to do it, okay, just copy the dark one first, Okay, the darker means, uh, the darker shade means the higher number. Okay, you change over here. And then you change to the lighter. Okay, lighter is here. Okay, copy. Right, lighter color is over here. Okay, paste it. And then try to change the light. Okay, the lightest color. Lightest color over here. And then you can also change the secondary color or accent. Okay, on the teal. 200 and 700. 200 on 700. But here you use, okay, purple. So, purple. So, what we have here is darker and lighter. So, you copy the slightly darker color. Slightly darker color is over here. 7. Okay, 700. You change it over here. And then, slightly lighter is here. Lighter color. Copy. And paste it. So, it is relatively simple to update the color scheme. Okay, let's uh, rerun this application. So there you get uh, your application in a new color. So this is a simple way to do basic customization. All right, on the next lab, we will explore a new way to input the information inside uh, the secondary screen. And Right, we'll, we'll try to input basic information inside the secondary screen. So that when you click Kedah, it will display the Kedah state information. Okay, like its uh, population or its capital. Okay, capital of Kedah state. Okay, 
and then when you click Johor, it will display basic information about the state of Johor, like the capital of Johor. And then the population of Johor. Okay, so that you can have a decent application. So you can create a decent application for your uh, project. So that's all for our lab session today. Be seeing you on the next lab. Thank you.